Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a second part in the uh, two-part series on the film and TV app or movies and TV depending on where you are. So uh, that was the first part where I was talking about basically a quick overlook of what it is and uh, it's basically a uh, app that plays your videos and also where you can rent movies, TV shows and so on. So, um, if we look at when the video playback is happening, actually, that's another thing that I wanted to show here. Let's take, for an example, once again, my video here on, uh, let's take this video here on my cat once again. Now, when a video is playing, you've got actually several options. And I'm sorry for the video playback that's not really good. Uh, I understand that while I'm recording and playing a video, it ain't compatible very much with my recorder. So when you are playing a video, one of the, there are a few things that you can do and the options are located at the bottom. First of all, there's on the left side volume control. So you can actually play with the volume of the video you're listening to. Remember, this is separate from the volume of your computer. So notice here, my computer's volume is at 5, but the video playback volume is at 100. It's maxed out. So there are two different volumes, and that you got to remember because it often is the case with most players. Next to it is a closed captioning. When you click here, you can choose a subtitle file. Now, if you have a video that you downloaded and created a uh, closed captioning, very often there is a file that is also with the video and you have to choose it in order for the closed captioning to work. It all depends on the player. Some players find that automatically. Then in the center of the playback you have three options. Go back 10 seconds, go forward 30 seconds, and of course the play and the pause button. So it's pretty interesting for that because you can really check out the different uh, playback option here. So you know you can move back 10 seconds which is cool because I mean you're listening to something you just missed out on something or something you're watching a movie. It happens to me quite often by the way. I'm watching a movie and I just missed out on a particular phrase that an actor just said which what what did you just say well it's pretty cool because you can go back 10 seconds and replay back the sequence quite quickly of course you can go front 30 seconds continue playing if you want on the right side you've got the full screen mode you notice that right now you see my taskbar you see that there's the uh, status bar at the top of the app two ways to do this you can actually use the arrows the double arrows that really put full screen on your computer but you can also double click or double tap to do the same thing on the left side you've got the amount of time of the video the total time and on the right side no, actually it's the time that was played time elapsed and on the right side is the time remaining so this is cool information if you're wondering you know how much time left and there's just three little dots and if you click here there are three options one is cast to device if you have a compatible device you can cast to any playable device that you have on your network now I don't have any devices that are compatible so I can't show you this option but if you have a device that is compatible with Miracast this will connect so if you have a smart TV you could check it out. There are some chances if that smart TV is on your own network that it might work. Then you've got in the three dots another option called stretch to fill and I'll give you an example of that. Let's say that I'm going back to my um, videos. Let's say I'm going to take a Seinfeld video here. In the Seinfeld videos you'll notice that because this is old stuff basically um, this doesn't do full screen most of the time. A lot of the videos, even when stretched out, are not totally full. Now this one is because it was ripped in a way that it does make full screen, but uh, let's see if I can find something back here. 
Um, I had one example of, I think it was in specials here. If you click here, now this one is a small version. Even if I put it full screen, here it goes. That's what it looks like. Let's now go to the three dots, stretch to fill. And here you go. You've got full screen of a video that was not full screen. Now, word of caution, if you do that, you'll miss out on top, right and left a little bit. Sometimes things could look distorted. So make sure that you um, know what you're doing because it might not look right. And remember to put it back if you're ever doing something. Make sure that if you chose the option to uh, remove it sometimes, it can stay there. And finally, there's a repeat button. Short videos, for example, could be uh, nice for that. If you click the repeat button, what's going to happen is that that repeat button is going to simply let the video start over and over and over again. So uh, that's pretty much uh, the options here. And finally, if we look at the different settings in the app, in the settings you have when you download a video to uh, choose, do you want to download an HD or SD? So HD is high definition video, typically most of the time 1080p. SD is standard to the definition, it's let's say DVD quality. And of course the ask every time means it's going to ask you what to do. And the difference why they ask you for the quality is because depending on the screen you have and the download speeds and also the um, if you have a data cap, if you have every month a data maximum data that you can use, HD can take a lot of gigabytes out of your download. Then you have download location, so you can modify where the videos are downloaded when you're actually downloading stuff. Downloading uh, download devices, show my download devices. These are all the devices that could be on your network where you can download stuff. You can remove or add devices. Uh, this is mostly for, um, especially if you rent or uh, buy TV shows and movies because they have uh, digital right managements so that you can add devices that will have right managements. Then you have videos, restore my available video purchases. That's in the case where you would have lost them, reinstalled Windows, stuff like that. Uh, choose where we look for videos. So you can add folders of where you want to look for videos on your own computer. There's finally light, dark team and um, use system settings that's for the color of the app itself and you know what a little trick if you add videos to your OneDrive folder uh, for example in the video part of your OneDrive folder you know what you can actually have your videos available everywhere that's a little trick that's pretty cool you, by adding videos to your OneDrive video folder if you add it as a folder then if you use another device and you're somewhere else, you have internet connectivity, you can still watch the videos because they're stored online. A little bit like Groove Music. And finally, you've got all the account um, stuff with your order history, payment options, and your account for buying content. And of course, whatever you download, if it's in one of the folders that you've created, that you've chosen, uh, where we look for videos, it's automatically added to your folder uh, in the app. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully, you will continue watching us on this channel. Thank you for following us.